Hi, I'm Cameron, and I don't just read comics. I love them, and sometimes they have movies based on them, and I'm going to watch those movie trailers. So today we are here. It's a, it's funny because I'm over here, not in my usual spot, because my dishwasher is going, and I had put all my recording stuff away. Then I got a text that the brand new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse trailer came out. I recently did a video on League of Super Pets for DC, and I compared it to the first movie in this uh, film series. So I knew I needed to do this trailer. And especially, this is one of my most anticipated movies. I'm probably, yeah, no, I'm probably more excited for this one than I am for um, Across, or Spider-Man No Way Home. So this is a really big deal. I've been, this movie has been delayed and pushed and I've already seen, literally, I haven't watched the trailer yet. I rushed and reset up all my equipment just so we could do this video. So here we are, Across the Spider-Verse trailer review in my little corner. It's funny because I set it up in front of all my Marvel books. So there you guys go. You get to see my, my little bookshelf. Maybe one of these days I'll give you a room tour. Not quite yet, though. Um, okay, so here we go. It says part one, so I guess there's a part two that I read like two seconds of an interview, and then my buddy, had, Kyle Rice, just sent me the trailer for this. I'm like, ah! So here we go, another trailer review in as many days. Um, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse part one. I am pressing play now. Love this animation style already. Love this. The end of the last movie. That's the way Miles. Miles! You got a minute? Oh! What? Whoa. Gwen, how did, how did she... How, how did you get... How have you been? Uh, it's a long story. Is this the room you grew up in? Uh, it, it is. But uh, my, my dorm room is very adult. Right. No, of course. <laughs> hey, are these your drawings? What? No, oh, no. Oh, good. Uh, uh. <laughs> Been there, been there. I missed you too. Okay. So, what are you doing here? I, I mean, I, I thought I'd never see Power Rangers again. guy. Want to get out of here? I grounded. <sighs> Bummer. Been there too. What? Is Spider Man grounded? Uh, I mean, I. I feel like he's buffer. October 7th. Oh, wait, that's like a year away. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so, wow. There's a lot to talk about already. Um, looks like we're going to see characters that we've already seen in the original Into the Spider-Verse. And there's a character. That's that's kind of who I was waiting to see, and I wanted more time with that we got. It's uh, a Spider-Man 2099. It's... Uh, Oh my gosh, I don't know his name off the top of my head, and I probably should have looked that up, but I couldn't wait, because, you know, if you look it up, then, I want to say it's, 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 oh, Miguel O'Hara, there we go, um, yeah, it looks like, and, and I assume it's gonna be voiced by Oscar Isaac, uh, dang, the catharsis that came from watching that, um, trailer, it's been, like, two or three years, at least, at least two years, I think closer to three since the last movie, and so I'm really freaking excited to get to revisit this. For me, and for my money, like, uh, this is the Spider-Man property I'm, like, I'm most enthusiastic about, and not because I have any... I love MCU, Peter Parker, and live-action Spider-Man, but I guess 
you guys heard me talk about animation before. Like, I just think that the budget and the, the scope that they can encompass in this, as we've already seen, is amazing. And now to even venture further and to see some of our favorite, you know, who, who do you think we're going to see? I think we're going to see, I think there's potential for Mayday Parker or, um, you know, we're just waiting on Silk. Silk's definitely going to come sooner rather than later. I'd imagine in that movie. Uh, I love Spider Gwen. I think everyone loves Spider Gwen. Uh, or Ghost Spider, but let's be honest, it's Spider Gwen. Uh, I'm really, really excited for this property. So that that trailer just got me hyped, and I'm glad that you know we could have some have some announcement. But man, two trailers in one week. We got DC's Peacemaker, and now we got the Spider Man. I thought that was going to come out at least towards the end of December. You know, closer to the release of Into or uh, No Way Home. I thought that uh, why would Sony not do that? You know. Um, Wow. Maybe maybe that'll probably be... You know what? Frankly, if Toby and... Here's a fan cast. If Toby and Andrew are going to show up in Spider-Man No Way Home, allegedly, we don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet, so if you've seen it, congratulations. If they're going to show up, why would... Why couldn't Miles show up? You know I mean, like, go full Space Jam with it. Uh, and if they do, I called it. Because I'm like... Why not? Why not boost an existing property already? Who to say Venom won't show up? We don't know. So, especially considering the post-credit scene for Venom, Let There Be Carnage. So, wow, that's a lot to take in. Um, so freaking excited to see Miguel O'Hara. Uh, so excited to see Miles again. Um, only, only things to look forward to right now on the Sony front. So, congrats, Marvel and Sony, for getting their acts together. Um, I'm Cameron. I don't just read comics. I love them. And wow, lots of cool comic stuff. I just, I'm probably going to go turn this off and watch that trailer again and freak out some more by myself. So only things to look forward to. Uh, remember, I'm Cameron. I don't just read comics. I love them. Make sure to clobber those like and subscribe buttons uh, and maybe check out my podcast, Cameron Reads Comics. See you next time.